It might be the jib crisis, it could be staff issues, it could be consenting delays. Adversity and setbacks is something you encounter all the time. I remember when we got a phone call for this site in particular. Our scientists have delineated the whole lot as being within the wetland, including that existing building platform site. They've already invested significant costs to get a consent and we're not sure now, do we do we not submit consent while we wait? I would not submit building consent because we're trying to understand or get guidance from our scientists whether or not we can call that building platform uh, a wetland. Do, I do want to prepare you that it could be a bit of a long burn. Um, I don't want to trick you into thinking it's going to be solved tomorrow. Alrighty, well we'll just um yeah, get lawyers involved if they take. They literally got told like the week before Christmas that they weren't going to be able to build. They'd sold their house, they'd put all of their savings into this land. Greater Wellington Regional Council was taking the developer to court to try and prove that this land was not suitable to build on. What the f so we got caught in the middle of that. Early on we worked out that this was gonna be a long-term battle and we had to walk away. And so I think that's a real key. As a building business owner, uh, adversity and setbacks is something you encounter all the time. It might be the jib crisis, it could be staff issues, it could be consenting delays, it could be the Greater Wellington Regional Council. There's just so many moving parts, you're bound to run into them. I'm fortunate that in my experience early on as a manager at McDonald's, I got taught to deal with and embrace change, embrace things not going to plan and always have a plan B. That brings in one of the quotes that I love so much and I've given to all of my staff. Blessed are the flexible, for they shall not be bent out of shape. I could sit here and I could be like, man, that sucks. I was planning to send the guys there. What are we gonna do? Like, nah, we have to build. Or I could just be like, whoa, wasn't expecting that. Fortunately, these things just have a habit of working themselves out. And by not getting overly stressed about it, we've taken on a bunch of other jobs. We've filled those gaps. And now this is starting at a time that's actually great for us. As some of our other jobs, have had insane delays with resource consents. This one's come along and it's ready to go. And I think that just shows like, as a building business owner, you've not only got to deal with adversity and setbacks, but you've, you've got to juggle a couple of things on the go, or you've got to expect that they're not all going to go to plan. They're not all going to be easy. Some of them aren't even going to start. You've got to kind of put it out there with a bunch of things and see what comes back to you, and then work that timeline out as it comes back in. Now naturally I am actually a kind of person that tends to overthink things and I do then lie in bed awake at night thinking like crap and it's real easy to catastrophize in your mind all of those things. I think one of the things I do when I start feeling like that is even if it's the middle of the night, I get up and I get a pen and paper out and I write down the facts. Let's stick to the facts. Well, and now I've got a six month hold. What can I do about that? Well, I can bring a couple of designers and architects. I can put a Facebook post up. I can actually go through my inbox and chase some of those leads where before I was a little bit overwhelmed, I can get a little bit more proactive with that stuff. You can choose to take it as a blessing or you can choose to take it as a setback. Often, yes, it's a game changer. It's not really gonna be game over. On this site in particular, we had to get a geotech report. We had to prove that the soil has a load bearing capacity strong enough to take a house and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So we took out 500 mils of soil and we replaced it with layers of compacted base course. We had the 14 ton digger here, we've had the roller. Mike has made it flat, mint, ready to build on. Next steps is we've got the plumber coming in, we'll do sand, we're going to do boxing, pods, concrete and that'll be another site another slab ready for our boys to start timber framing if you haven't already go ahead click subscribe help us hit 10k subs let's get out of here